Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about squishing the bug, okay? So you hear, <laughs> depending on what level you're at, if you're at a, a lower level, you'll hear coaches say, hey, you gotta squish the bug, right? You gotta squish the bug. They're trying to get players to use their lower half and to rotate. As you get older, you hear a lot of people say, stop squishing the bug, right? You can't just squish the bug. You can't just make this move right here. So we're gonna talk about squishing the bug, right? I, I've got a lot of a lot of questions about this in the comment section about, you know, what is squishing the bug and why is it a bad thing? Or some people say, why, how do I do it? How do I squish the bug? So let's get into all that stuff. Here's the thing for me. When I turn, and we've talked about this a bunch, my lower body, when I get into my back hip and I go to launch the bat, I'm gonna launch from right here, okay? So my lower body, this leg, I'm gonna turn. I've gotta turn. If I don't, I'm not gonna use my lower body, right? I'm not gonna use, my body's not gonna work in the proper sequence. So we talked about how this has gotta turn, right? And my upper body is gonna launch back. All right, so I have to turn with my lower body. All right, so squishing the bug, the idea of trying to get players to turn their lower body and to get their rear leg to turn is right. It has to do it, okay? For me, squishing the bug happens when players just make this move but aren't really turning, aren't really driving with their lower body. They're just kind of falling back and literally, they're just turning their foot like this on the ground, like they're trying to squish a bug, all right? But there's really no stretch created, okay? So how to do that, again, for me, when players make a move where they don't get into a good position to launch, if they just stay completely, completely stacked over their backside, so if my knee, hip, and foot are all aligned and I'm just kind of making this move where I'm almost 100% back and then I just go to turn my leg I just kind of make this move where I'm not driving I'm just kind of turning and falling backwards so yeah again I mean, my back leg is turning but I'm not creating anything from here to here I'm not creating any type of separation with that move okay so what has to happen is, when I get into my back hip and I make a move to go hit, I don't just stay right here. I get into my back hip, I make a slight positive move into the ball, and now when my leg goes to turn, I'm not just doing this with my foot again. It's not just my foot turning. My leg is wanting to turn. My leg starts to turn, this starts to go back, and now I've created that separation. I've created that stretch, right? This is turning me this way. My upper body is turning me back. And now I've got some elastic band. I pull the band back, have stored energy, and I'm gonna shoot it. So watch how different of a move that is. Again, it's not, it's not this. That's not doing anything. I gotta be in my back hip, and my leg is trying to turn. Not my foot, all right? Does that make sense to everybody? So that's the whole squishing the bug thing. If you watch back foots, it's interesting. So people think, especially with the little league kids, right? They talk about squishing the bug to get your lower body to rotate. But if you watch major leaguers, everybody's back foot does different stuff. Some players, like, doesn't really turn out. Like, if you think back to, like, Jim Tomey, Jim Tomey used to, like, back foot didn't almost do anything. Right? Some players, you got like Altuve, uh, Cabrera, and those guys, their foot goes backwards. Right? Some guys, their foot comes up. So everybody is, and then some guys, they just turn, they get on their toe. You know, there's like a thousand different things that you'll see. Okay? So it's not so, don't get so concerned with the foot and the squishing of the bug. Right? That's what a lot of coaches at lower levels think. That, you know, it's all in the foot. For me, it's not, it's it's more in your leg. It's in your leg turning. And like I said, some guys' foot's 
stay almost down on the ground. Some guys come up, some guys go forward. Everyone does a little bit something different. But from here, they're all gonna have their leg turning that way and their upper body going back. So hopefully that makes sense. Next time someone talks about squishing the bug, it's not about squishing the bug. It's not about just getting your back foot to turn. That's not gonna get do me anything, all right? It's gotta be more in the leg and then your leg in relationship to the other parts of your body creating that stretch is the really, really important thing, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If you haven't seen our other videos, go back and watch them in our hitting playlist. We really talk about the lower half, the upper half, how they work together. We'll really give you a good idea of how I need to rotate, okay? So thanks again for watching. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Description box below, we've got a deal going on with Play Create. If you type in, click on the link. I always forget to say click on the link. But if you click on the link and type in Antonelli, you'll get 50% off of your first plate crate. Uh, also have our Patreon page down there. Just click the link down there. I'll take you there. And you can support the channel and a bunch of other things down there. So check all that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.